gives her the old foot model the brakes that you guys really hear we got. Welcome back to the lab. An update on the PDM situation with uh, that that you were just looking at. Uh, basically, they're awesome. So they've been in the car for they. There was one went in, and then that was cool. So another one went in. There's two in the car. They've been in the car for a couple of years now, and basically they're perfect. They've had no issues whatsoever. Once they're installed, set up correctly, done deal. Great, perfect. If we'd left the fuses, you'll see in previous videos, I'll put links in the description, um, the Nava relays with the built-in fuses, if we'd left those in the car, guaranteed there would have been at least half a dozen times in, in this time frame that the thing would have just car put it in the pits or out on the track or whatever and just caused troubles. And it's just there's just a reliability thing there. So I've, I've written some pointers up on the board. It's behind the camera here. So I can read it and you can't read it because my writing's terrible. Oh, damn it. There it is there. See? Right. I'm going to read that now. Wrote, wrote some cliff notes at your top there. So re with reliability, which is what you get with a PDM, right? Or PDMs and decent wiring and set it all up properly and stuff. Um, you confidence. I'm standing in the wrong spot. You get confidence. And with confidence comes speed. Because you don't want to go charging up to a corner. You go barreling in there at, at 10 tenths. Gives her the old foot part of the brakes that you guys are. And needing your horsepower to pull you out the other side. And you put your foot down there's nothing there. Because a fuse is blown or a relay's come loose or a wire's jiggled loose or whatever. So without the reliability there's just no confidence, right? Uh, reliability gives you consistency. Because you can go out, your car will run, and then the next time you need to go out and run, it does. It doesn't break down, doesn't leave you stranded in the pits, sitting in the staging area going, why won't my car go? And, and then chasing it and finding it's a bit of corrosion on, on a fuse because they've used uh, dissimilar metals on the contacts and it just fizzes away with a little bit of moisture in there. So, and with the consistency, you get your points. And if you're running in a point series, it's what you need to, to win, right? What's the next one I've written up there? Well, oh, it's reliability again. Uh, less repairs. Uh, obvious. If it's not breaking down, it's not costing you money. It might only be a fuse or whatever, or it might have to be that there's some contacts need changing or whatever, and you're fluffing around, especially if you're paying someone else to look after that sort of stuff. So it's cheaper. Um, in, in the same thing, less repairs, happier, puts a big smile on your face, yay, I can get in my car and I can drive it and the piece of won't break down on you when you need it, so um, just makes you basically happier, no one wants to be at the racetrack fixing your car, that's what the workshop's for, that's what all the bits and pieces on the shelves there are for, is to, if you're out here at home, it's after, you know, it's after five o'clock and I'm out here and I'm I actually don't need to do anything on that. It needs some new spark plugs, but otherwise I think it's good. Um, you don't want to go to the racetrack and have to pull out your toolbox and fix things. It's not much fun. We had that at Chrome and it was, it was a spark plug, ironically. But um, What else have we written up there? Uh, two years, zero issues. Well, we talked about that. That's done, isn't it? Now, I'm, uh, am I cutting their lunch? I don't know. I know the boys at Link are going to release some stuff and things, and I'm kind of, I've kind of got a, a bit of an inside line there, and I know, I know some things. I know some things, and I might be into it. Um, there's been some updates. Not so much hardware. I don't think any changes to hardware. It's uh, software, firmware related. Um, so if you're not, I'm, I'm not going to claim to be a super guru with computers. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm. I'm at best average 
If you're not that way inclined, if you're not super switched on with all that sort of stuff and a PDM might be a little bit, oh, how am I going to do this? This is pretty daunting. What am I, how the heck do you set one of these up? And, and it might scare you off and you might not put one in and you might just deal with all these things that I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago and have a car that craps out, blows fuses, does dumb things all the time. Um, they've updated the software and they've made that a lot easier for you guys. So there's some preset options now. So you can just literally just open up software and, and look at them and go, that one looks like about right for me. That's going to drive my whatever, my lights, my windscreen wipers, uh, might run my ECU in a, I, I'm not sure what's exactly on those presets off the top of my head, fuel pump and an engine cooling fan or something like that. And you might just go, sweet, that'll work for me. And it saves me having to figure out how all this stuff works. And you just put the preset program in, follow the instructions and everything. Good, it'll work. You don't need to be a guru. You don't have to figure it out. It's like, I'm being careful so I don't oversell it. Maybe like, a bit like putting an app into your phone and you don't have to go in there and write a bunch of code and tell it to go to various outputs and all that sort of stuff. You just put the app on your phone and it just works. Pretty sure that's where they're at with these preset options for the PDM. You just put it in there, it'll just work. The outputs will be where they say they are on the, on the setup. It'll just go. So that's pretty good. Um, another thing that's happened with making it easier so for your can stuff, there's now, there's a setup wizard. I haven't been in there and I haven't looked at it. This is all live now. It's all been released. Um, so you guys know what wizards are, right? It's, remember back in Windows, they had a little paper clip that would pop up and tell you to do something on the screen or whatever. You can do this and it'll be better. It's going to be something like that. Might not be a little paper clip popping up, but it's going to be some sort of a window popping up and giving you pointers on what to do or telling you what to do next and all that. So carry on. It'll make it easier, whatever it is. There's official videos coming out soon, but this is a heads up to, to have a look out for them. Um, what else have we got? So with your, your things like your engine cooling fans, uh, or there might be some pump that you're going to turn on or something like that. Uh, the initial draw on those, the inductance, big word, it's too techo. We don't want to go to that techo. When you turn it on, it goes, boom, draws a whole heap of current. And that can, um, your, your voltage in your system, depending on the size of your battery, can drop down a little bit low. You might find that that actually causes the engine to give it a little bit of stutter because the voltage in the overall system might drop below thresholds. And that, and that, that can cause problems, depending on what's going on. Uh, so they have put a soft start on those, basically what it does, just controls the amperage that goes to that particular system to stop it doing the big whack it's on. It just builds it up slowly and it'll stop that. I know on the March, um, with the engine cooling fans, it's just a tiny little bit of a when, when the um, when the fan kicks on. So I'll change that across onto that system or remove that. It's it's not really a big deal. It doesn't cause a problem for me, uh, but it may do elsewhere on other things. Uh, what else? Oh, this is the best one. The last one that I've written down here is price. The price. So th there's, uh, I've heard some negative negativity. Uh, some comments that are like, oh, yeah, but you kind of need to buy two PDMs and it kind of gets a bit expensive. You don't need two. It depends on what your setup is. I'm running two. Um, and it gets a bit pricey and do do and you might be better with blah, 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 whatever, various different things. Uh, so now there's discounted bundles available. So you don't basically pay full price for your second or your third if you're going full Monty, um, your fourth PDM, you can run up to, at least up to four PDMs pretty easily without being a super guru on doing stuff and things. And I'm sure you can run more if you start getting real switched on the smart and think about how to do things. Um, off the top of my head, I know you can definitely do four straight away, real easy. Um, so, and then these bundles, they include can pads so you can buy a can pad and a couple of pdms and you get a discounted price and all that sort of care i'm not going to tell you how much i don't know i'm not going to look um talk to your dealer and and 
that's all live now, that's all out and about. So yeah, there you go. Hang on a second, I'm gonna have a think. There is something else and I can't think of what it is. All I can think of is I really wanna take a car for a drive. I need to find a, um, there's an event in South Island a couple of weeks away, that's, that's, that's pretty, I can't afford that. Um, yeah, we've got to find an excuse to take for a drive. Get out there and enjoy the thing. Ah, that's it. There's a update. Uh, can I spit it out? There's an update for the PC Link software, which is for your um, for the actual computer, for the EC, ECU, not the PDM. There's an update on that software and firmware. There's an update for the PC Link software. No doubt there's a update on the firmware for the ECU as well. Um, same, same. There's a uh, sync. When you're starting, when you're cranking the engine over and it's looking at the triggers and it's going, oh, that one's there and that one says that, that means the engine must be about here. So that means I need to do that and fires the injectors in the coils and all that sort of stuff and things. There's been an update on that. So it's more faster or better. So I, I haven't got an issue with the way it is right now, but it's going to be better apparently. So um, that'll be good. I'll get that into here, into the March, and we'll get it into the Ute. The Ute's my daily driver. You can't see it's outside there. Um, VK45 DE V8 and a Nissan Navara scratch build custom chassis sort of thing. And that's, yeah, that gets driven quite a lot. So if it's going to start easier, um, that'll be easier for me to notice with that one so i'll put that to the to the test not that i don't trust them that's like if it goes better then why not let's use it yeah i wonder i shouldn't really do that dry i shouldn't really start it in the garage Whoa. Whoa. first start too that was stone cold Look. Stone cold. Oh, I better, better turn that off or give myself bloody carbon monoxide poison. I'm going to take it for a drive. Right, hey, thanks for watching. I'll chuck in a couple more clips of the little beast doing stuff and things. All right, cheers, guys. Gives her the old foot part of the brakes and he goes really, here we go. Against the little march, twin turbo.